Welcome back to Titan Souls. I've taken a look around, and as far as I can tell, I'm not missing anything major. There's only two things I can think of where I think I might be missing something. One area is, as I've mentioned before, the place where it shows the directions on the ground next to the mimic that I fought. I still don't know what's going on with that. I went back into there. I still don't know what it wants me to do or if it even wants me to do anything. So I don't know what's up with that. And the other area is in the kind of lava zone where there's that one spot where if you walk down this pathway, the view switches over showing you this huge kind of like headless creature, this headless titan or whatever it is laying down. So that might be something. Maybe that's an optional boss or something. I'm not sure. I took a look around it and I couldn't find any way to get to it or to shoot it or anything like that. So I don't know. So those are the only two things that I might be missing. But I didn't find any new areas or anything of the sort, so I think I've hit everything major. So let's just continue on and fight myself, I guess. I think I'm near the end of the game. Those little electric y things, they follow me, don't they? And I think I tried to hit him, but it like split him into his ghost part and his real body. Which means I think when he's all ghostly, he's not actually vulnerable. Yeah, because look what just happened right there. It looks like the arrow goes through him, and when I suck it back in, it hits him. And he splits for a second. Well, I tried shooting one of those uh, little clouds. Didn't exactly work. I wonder if my arrow will become charged if it goes through the electric cloud. That might be it. Let's try it. I'm going to try shooting my arrow through one of those electric clouds and see if it becomes electrified. Maybe that's the secret. It didn't. I think it went through the cloud, and I don't think it did, but it looks like he, like, started to grab my arrow or something. Let me do that again to see what he's doing with it. Damn it. I wonder if he can actually get hit by the clouds themselves. Wait, what? It oh, he, he shot it back out all charged. He shot out my arrow. Does that mean it'll kill me, or do I suck it back in and it stays charged or something? I don't know. Let's try that again. Yeah, do something with my arrow. There you go. Damn it! I didn't even get a chance to suck it back in. I have a feeling when I suck the arrow back in, it's going to kill me. Alright, so he's capable of sucking the arrow in and shooting independently. So the fact that he's sucking the arrow in does not mean that I can... That I'm safe. Ugh. Sprinting is not enough, you have to dodge. I think he leads the target.
What j what the hell just happened? I don't know what just happened. I got stunned for a second somehow. I don't I don't know what just happened. I did notice though that he got separated from his like shell for a second, which I I think was when he hit one of those orbs. So I think he can get hit by the electric orbs as well. I think something hit him. Okay, yeah. Okay, so when he shoots the arrow back out, if you suck it in, you die. And also go super fast. I'm guessing I just don't want that to happen? Well... Maybe it's okay. Maybe I want that to happen and I just need to suck the arrow in through him. Actually, it looks like it just teleported away from its body without even getting hit. I'm not really quite sure what's happening. I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to let him suck the arrow in, and I'm just going to observe what happens. So the arrow loses charge after a while. I don't what just I don't know what just happened there again. Something like electrified me and did something. I need to figure out what's going on there. Yeah, he's teleporting. How do I know when he's going to teleport? Because that's when I need to shoot him, I guess. I guess when he teleports, what's actually happening... ...is that he's, like, leaving behind his ghostly apparition and he's actually moving to a different place himself to avoid getting hit. I need to live long enough to see what's happening. Yeah, I think anytime anything is going to hit him, including the arrow that he sucks in from me and then shoots out charged, I think even with that, when that hits him, he teleports out of the way. How the fuck am I gonna... I need to, like, consistently know where he's gonna teleport and win. How in the fucking hell? Have a feeling this boss fight is going to take up the whole episode. <laughs> Stop just short of him. Something just happened there, like my arrow lost charge and started 
discharging on me or something. It's, it's hard to figure out what's going on, because if I try to look at only him and not myself, then I die. And if I look at only myself and I'm trying to survive, then I don't see what's going on with him. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening. I don't actually know. Really, pretty much the only thing I've learned during all of this is that when he gets hit, or he's rather when he's going to get hit, that's when he, he separates from his... whatever that is. And becomes vulnerable. Wait a minute. Why did why did that arrow come towards me? Can I suck in his arrow? I think I can suck in his arrow. Yeah, it sucks in his arrow too. I don't know if that's a good thing. How the hell can I use that? Hmm. I actually have a feeling that I need to hit him with his own arrow by sucking his arrow into me. Because if you notice, his arrow that he shoots is white, just like his apparitional form. His apparitional form does not move when I shoot him, right? Let's just test that. No, his apparition stays. And he shoots a white arrow. So if... If he gets hit by anything, his apparition stays, and he's shooting a white arrow that looks like his apparition. His spirit form, or whatever you want to call it. I believe what that means is that if I suck the white arrow into him, the white arrow, the apparitional arrow or whatever, will hit his apparitional form and he will probably die. I think that's it. That's my current hypothesis, and I'm going to run with that. So I'm not going to leave my arrow out there. I'm just going to let him shoot his arrow and then try to run far away from it and suck it into me. I just don't want to suck it too hard or it might blow in my face. Got to be careful. Except, oh, you know, I just, I just realized I need to actually shoot my arrow because if I don't shoot my arrow, I can't suck his arrow in. Because the button that's used to suck in your arrow is also the button to shoot. If you haven't shot it, you can't suck it in. So I actually need to leave my arrow out there. Okay. Whoa, what the hell just... <laughs> Everything's flashing, I don't know what's going on. Then again, can he actually be harmed by the white arrow? Perhaps the fact that he's white and the arrow is white means that he's invulnerable to it. I really don't know. I mean, he is sucking the arrow into himself already, his own white arrow, and he's not dying from it, so would sucking it into him be any different than him sucking it into himself? I really don't know. I'm gonna try it, though. Whoa, 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 something... Hold on, something's actually happening there.
Some Something was happening there. When I was sucking in the arrow, something was happening. Because I can suck in his arrow, and it seemed like when the white arrow was in his possession and I was trying to suck it in, it was doing something. Or maybe it's when my own arrow was in his possession. I'm not sure. Let me let me keep trying to suck in the arrow while he's doing his own thing with them. Sizzle. Oh, the arrow hit my sizzled body. Crispy bacon. Yeah, it was it was doing the thing. I'm not sure if you could tell, but it was doing like the noise and the kind of jittery thing where uh, it's, it's the same sort of thing that happened when I shot the arrow into the the plant thing, for example, and I had to hold down the button until I like ripped open one of its petals or or something. It was doing that kind of thing. Hmm. Doesn't seem to happen if I suck in the white arrow when it's trying to suck it in two. So maybe I need to suck it in while it's trying to charge my arrow. Maybe that's what I need to suck. That was weird. I'm not really sure what happened. This boss is really hard to figure out. I need to not sprint. Sprinting seems bad. I'm just gonna normal walk and then dodge when I need to. The problem with sprinting is that when you go to sprint, but when you press the sprint button, it actually automatically does a dodge to begin with, and then starts sprinting. And there is a time limit between dodges. You can't constantly dodge. There's a cooldown. So if you hold down sprint, you actually end up dodging, and then there's a brief period where you can't dodge. So it's, it's actually kind of bad. That did something. I, I don't really know what's happening there, but it's doing something. I, yeah, I don't... I don't know what's happening. Stuff's exploding. There's electricity everywhere. It seemed like I could keep sucking it away from him, and it was preoccupying him. The only problem is that I kind of, like, sucked the energy orbs into myself or whatever. I don't know if I can actually suck the orbs, or if they just are attracted to me anyway. I think they're just attracted to me anyway. Okay, so I can... I can keep him preoccupied like this. What, what do I do with this, though? Uh... I can get closer to him. No! Fuck! There's gotta be something I can do with that. I can keep inching closer to him, I guess. I don't know if that helps. Can I get so close to him that I can hug him? And that will end the fight, because what he really wanted 
And what I really wanted was just a hug. I don't know, let's try it again. Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta be in a place where those orbs aren't really close to me. Because they disappear after a while. And it seems like no more get produced while I'm doing that, but, uh... Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. I really don't know what to do. Honestly, I have no idea. I can sort of stun, lo stun lock him or whatever you want to call it when I keep attracting the arrow to me. And he keeps getting juggled. That's great. I can give him the arrow and then he charges it, which means it kills me. Would it kill him in that form if it hit him? I doubt it, but it's possible. I don't know. I'm just going to keep trying to attract the arrow into me. Keep trying to stun lock him. Because it was cool! Whoa, something happened. I don't know what's happening. The more stuff that gets on the screen, the... Oh, okay, it looks like they bounce... I, I don't know. Shit's too fast, man! Slow it down! Ugh, okay. It seemed like something was happening when my arrow was hitting the white arrow. Let me try shooting the white arrow. Okay, that... I don't know if that means anything. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to happen. That was cool. It was like, ploink, 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 you're dead. Does that help? I don't know if that helps, but it's kind of cool. I'm going to do it again. Ooh, you know what? I just got an idea. I just got an idea. Yes. Okay. Ploinkage. I'm just gonna put that word out there. Ploinkage. Think about it, okay? That's my idea. Ploinkage. Here's what I mean. Yes, yes. Ploinkage. Ploinkage. It's the ploinkage! So, when I shoot the white arrow, it goes ploink, right? Ploinkage. And then there's like a little explosion of light, right? An explosion! If I was to shoot the arrow, shoot the white arrow with my arrow, and make it go ploink and explode when it's near him, may perhaps, mayhaps, that will work. Ploinkage. didn't seem to do anything. Maybe it wasn't close enough. It, I really feel like that was close enough, though. I'm still gonna stick with plinkage strats. I'm committed to the plink.
Okay. It seems like when... What just happened there? I think I get... I got hit by the plunkage, and that stunned me for a second, I think. Is it a good thing for me to be stunned? If it can stun me, then maybe I do need to plunk it. I'm still going with the plunkage. I might not even beat this boss this episode, and this might be an hour of me just attempting this boss and not understanding it. I mean, it separated, but I think that's just because I was shooting an arrow kind of in its general direction more than anything. I, I don't know. Keep going with Plunkett Strat? Been fighting this boss for like 20 to like 20 25 minutes and I still don't even have a don't even have a solid strategy. I'm going to try plinkage when I'm next to the plinky. In other words, I'm going to be next to the white arrow and see if I can knock myself out. My arrow went over it or something. I think I sucked the arrow into my own dead body, somehow? Alright, well, plunkage when I'm near it doesn't seem to do anything, so then what knocked me out before? Something knocked me out. Thing is, even if I can get it to separate its... F get the body to separate, it's going to teleport to a seemingly random area next to where where it originally was and only for an extremely brief period of time so how would i ever know where it's going to be and be able to shoot it fast enough by the time i even realize that it's separated from its body i'll have to draw my arrow wait for it to charge and then aim the correct spot like that's not gonna work there's no way i can do that fast enough I want to stun lock it again. Or occupy lock it again. It's not really a stun. Ah, damn it. Got the white arrow back. did a thing. 
I think something maybe happened when my charged arrow hit the white arrow? Is that a thing? Let me leave my arrow out there to get charged. Yeah, suck it in, charge it, shoot it out. And then what do I need to do? Somehow suck it into the white arrow? Good fucking luck with that. Yeah, look at that. It definitely exploded when it hit the white arrow. So, I mean, we're getting so many levels deep here. Do I need to shoot out my arrow, let it get charged, have it shoot out at me, somehow get attract it towards the white arrow and hit it when it is near the white arrow and it? Is that what I need to do? Because if it is, then that's never going to happen. I don't know what just happened. I don't... What just happened? It is honestly pretty frustrating that I can't quite tell what's happening because I'm focusing on not dying. If I look at my character, I don't see what's going on on the rest of the screen. If I look at the rest of the screen, I die. And then I can't see what's going to go on because I'm dead. Again, I don't know what just happened. I, what just happened? Some explosion that stunned me. It's something to do with the arrows hitting each other, I think. I want to just, like, stop the recording and go back and watch it. Just to see what's actually happening. Again. Okay, it hit. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's what's happening when it hits, when the arrows hit. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. If it stuns me no matter where I am, is that really a good thing? I can't exactly kill it if I'm stunned. What if I just stay really close to you? I mean, I know I'm probably going to die really quickly to the arrow that it shoots, but what if I stay really close to it so that when the arrows come to kill me, they also kind of go through it, you know? I'm going to try that. Once it's shot out the electric arrow. Something happened. Don't know if it's a good thing. Things happen.
I kind of forgot to cl get close to him. I was trying still strats. It didn't work. Alright, let's get close to him. Come here, you little bastard. Come here. Come here. Fuck. Getting close to it doesn't work if it has the white arrow. It shoots too fast to dodge. Honestly, I feel like I have no more idea how to defeat this boss than I had 30 minutes ago. I know it separate from, from, separates from its body, I know if the charged arrow hits the white arrow and an explosion happens that stuns me. I know I can suck the arrow towards me when it's trying to suck it towards it and keep it stun locked or whatever you want to call that, but that doesn't seem to be useful. I know some stuff, but none of it seems to really fucking matter. It does seem to dodge those electric things. So if I stay near it, the electric things come towards me and it ends up dodging a lot. But again, it dodges to a random place. Do I just shoot my arrow randomly, hoping it just <laughs> teleports there at that exact moment? I mean, that's fucking stupid. Why did it just teleport right there? I want to understand its teleporting behavior. It just teleported there even though it didn't look like it was in danger at all. Why did it teleport? Because I need to know when it's going to teleport if I want to defeat it. I don't know what's happening! Stuff's moving too fast. This boss is honestly kind of annoying. Not because it's hard, but because I can't understand how the hell it works, even though I'm trying really, really hard to do exactly that. I'm not even trying to kill it, I'm just trying to figure out how it works, and I, it's hard to even see what the hell's going on. I don't know what just happened there. I think the arrows hit or something? I feel like I'm just randomly... Like, I'm in a massive... Like, I'm just on the side of a mountain. A massive mountain. And I'm just, like, randomly pickaxing just completely random spots, hoping to find gold or something. It's like, yeah, I might find gold. But chances are I'm not gonna find gold.
I'm a man without a plan. Cool noises happened. I don't know what actually happened, though. I mean, I could just keep making pretty noises happen until somebody dies. That's a strat. Let me try shooting him when he's trying to shoot me. Okay. That did a thing. The apparition stayed, the main body moved and continued to try to shoot me, but it looked like it was exposed for the entirety of the shooting animation. But once I've shot him to even make that happen, my arrow is obviously not in my possession anymore, so I can't exactly aim it again fast enough. I can't possibly get my arrow back and shoot him in that amount of time. Let me keep trying that. seem useful, unless I can get him to teleport, like, unless I can get his body to teleport into an area where one of those electric clouds just happens to hit him? Just randomly? Let me try shooting him again just as the arrow is coming into him. So again, I'm gonna try the plink. Plinkage, plinkage strat. Pretty sure I already tried that, but... I, I keep... Uh, I can't dodge there. I need to wait and then dodge, because if I dodge once, then I can't uh, re-dodge in time to actually avoid the hit. Dodging too early. Premature dodulation. It can happen to you. Come here, come here. No, 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 it's not yours. It's not yours, motherfucker. Mine, mine. I've got no freaking clue. I have no idea. I've tried plunkage strat. I've tried... Stay still and die strat. I don't even have names for the other strats. Now I'm just doing confused strat. I'm not going to defeat him this episode. This entire episode is just going to be full of failure. That is depressing. I'm still trying the shoot him, or shoot the white arrow just as he's sucking it in strat. I need to be closer to him, though, because otherwise I can't really hit him.
<laughs> nope. Of course, it's hard to stay near him when the force field electric ball thingies originate from him. Because then they just sizzle me. I've been fighting this boss for 40 fucking minutes, and I still have made almost no progress. I have learned things about it, but not things that I know how to exploit. None of the other bosses really pissed me off, but this one does. Things happen there, explosions, but it didn't seem to affect the boss. I don't know, I, I can't see any, I don't see any strategy. Other than just run around like a jackass, shoot your arrow and hope that it happens to teleport at just the right moment, and your arrow is already in the air at just the right moment. It doesn't stay separated from its body long enough to actually aim anything. That's the longest I can keep it stayed separate from its body is if I shoot it while it's trying to shoot me, but then my arrow's already shot and I can't shoot it. I mean... Interesting. 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 Okay, actually, I just... I was gonna end this episode in frustration, but I just discovered two interesting lines of thought that may bear fruit. If I shoot the white arrow as it is literally going in the air towards me, does that do anything? It reflects it. Also, when I first shoot him, I feel like there might be enough time to just... I f I like, at least in that one attempt, in that one particular time, where he teleported, I feel like there was enough time for me to actually... get my arrow back and shoot him. It's when I shot my arrow forwards and shot it through him by pulling it back through him. That's when I feel like there was enough time. That might... That might be a quick kill strat. Let me try the first one. Let me try shooting the arrow when he's shooting me. Of course, I should probably be further away, because otherwise there's no way my timing is going to be right. But yeah, I see a quick kill opportunity here. Ah, damn it. Yeah, like that. I mean, it doesn't seem to help anything. It's cool.
unless I happen to hit the arrow right when it's leaving his body, but that's only going to be for like a couple frames. Yeah, it's right there that I feel like I maybe have time to kill him. Let me try that strat, the one where it shoots through him and then I pull it back through his body. Okay, that didn't work that time for some reason, even though it went right through him. Maybe it wasn't going fast enough? Nope, kill me. Gotta wait a second to pull it back in. I mean, I notice that there's notches in the floor. I wonder if they mean anything. These. I mean, I thought for a second maybe that's where he teleports. Like, those are his teleportation regions, but obviously they're not. He teleports randomly. Random times? Seemingly random times into random locations. I maybe just need to fully charge the shot. Get perfectly straight. Still didn't quite work. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I can still do my pull in even when I'm dead. That's really, really weird. Keep trying it. I think I maybe need to be forwards more. Yeah, right there. Mm, I don't know if there's enough time. It's tantalizingly close. So I do need to be forwards more. No. There's not enough time, is there? There's not enough time. I can't be done. Let me try standing closer, see if that does anything. I keep thinking maybe the floor, the regions of the floor mean something. I don't know, this episode is already going to be almost an hour long, I think. And I know if I keep going, it's probably going to be two. This boss has me completely stumped. I know a bunch of little things about its behavior, but I just can't pull it together into a strategy. I don't know. I really don't know. Huh. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far watching me endlessly try for an hour to defeat a boss to no avail. And you can expect more of the same in the next episode. So, I'll be back soon.